What's up everybody, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to pass information back from one view controller to the other. So what we're gonna do is hit this plus button. It's gonna present us with a new view controller, ask us to input some value. And when we hit done, it's gonna pass that information back to our original view controller and append it to a table view uh, in this example. So we're gonna be doing this using a protocol. Um, that, in my opinion, is the best way to accomplish this uh, sort of pass back functionality using a protocol and a delegate. So let's go ahead and get started with Xcode. I'm going to jump in here, start a new project, single view app, context tutorial, oops, create. Okay, I got to fix my signing. All right. So uh, what we're gonna do guys is we're going to create two view controllers here. We're not gonna use this guy um, because I wanna make uh, the nomenclature a little bit easier to understand. So we're gonna say new file, Swift file, and this is gonna be contact controller or yeah, contacts controller. Oh, we can go ahead and copy and paste the code from this view controller into this guy. And here, just call this contacts controller and this is actually going to be a UI table view controller and then we're going to need one more uh, so go back up here new file Swift file and we're going to call this guy add contact controller and again just go ahead and paste that and we'll call this add contact controller and we're good to go we can go ahead and delete this file here so we need to set up our root view controller. And if you guys remember, this is embedded in a navigation controller and I don't use storyboards. So we're gonna go ahead and do that uh, programmatically by hopping into the app delegate. It's really simple to do. Um, let me get this out of the way. Okay, so we're just gonna say window equals UI window, window.makekey invisible, and window.root view controller equals UI navigation controller with a root view controller of our contacts controller. And that's all we need to do there, guys. So if you were to run the code now, you would see um, this, uh, our root view controller would be embedded now in a navigation controller. So let's hop in here and um, go into our view did load method. And we're gonna say self.navigationcontroller.navigationbar that prefers large titles equals true. And then we're going to say self.navigation item title equals contacts. And uh, we need to create our nav or sorry, our bar button. So we're going to say self.navigation item dot right bar button item equals UI bar button item. Select this option bar button system item. Say dot add target is self. And our selector is going to be called handle add contact. So we need to create this function. So we're gonna say, let's make a mark here. And then we're gonna say at objective C func handle add contact. And what we wanna do in this handle add contact is actually just present um, this add contact controller. We're gonna do that in a second though. I wanna go ahead and see what this is looking like. One more line of code we're gonna type is view.backgroundcolor equals dot white. Okay, so uh, go ahead and run our code now. And let's see what this looks like. And it's looking pretty good. We have our button up here, um, our nice uh, navigation controller uh, or navigation bars set up. Now let's go ahead and uh, do what we need to do to present that uh, add contacts controller, All right? So uh, here we're gonna just go in and say, uh, view dot background color equals dot blue for now and then happen to handle add contact we're going to say self dot present and we want to present this in a navigation controller guys so we're going to say UI navigation controller the root view controller of our add contacts controller animated is true completion is no so now let's go ahead and run this and see if that uh, add contact controller is popping up 
and it is and it's also embedded in a navigation controller so now we need to add our cancel and done button to this navigation controller and we're going to change this background color to white so we'll hop back in here and we can just copy the code for uh this guy change this to white go here and this is going to say dot done this is going to be handle done mark selectors at objective c funk handle done and then we are going to need our left bar button item and that is going to be our cancel button so change that to left change this to dot cancel and change this guy to handle cancel and go at objective c funk handle cancel and here we're just going to say um let me get some room here self dot dismiss animated is true completion is nil okay and here we can just say print uh handle done for now we're going to implement some code in there in a little bit so let's go ahead and run this again and um we're going to see these two bar buttons popping up now hit that a couple times hit cancel it dismisses that controller and we go back here and we see our message popping up in our console so we know that's good to go okay guys so let's hop back into um, our contacts controller and we need to implement some uh, a couple things we need to implement our UI table view methods and we need to create um, a sort of a data model to for to add those contacts into our UI table view so let's go ahead and do that really quick we're gonna say mark UI table view and we're going to want to implement the number of rows and section function for now we can just say return zero and our cell for row at function and here we're going to say let uh, cell equal table view dot dq reusable cell with identifier we're going to create this identifier really quick so go up here say private let reuse identifier equal and we're just going to call it cell pass that guy in here for index path and return our cell okay now um, what else do we need to do we need to register our table view cell so we're gonna go here and we're gonna say table view uh, dot register and we're just gonna do this uh, UI table view cell class dot self and we're gonna pass in that reuse identifier we created there as well okay so now what are we going to be populating our table view with? We're actually going to create a struct here called contact. And it's just going to contain one variable called full name, which is going to be a string. And now what we can do is uh, create a, an array of custom objects, which using this contact we just created. So we're going to say uh, var contacts equals an array of contacts, right? And this is what we're gonna to use to populate our table view. So here, we're actually gonna return contacts.count. And uh, we want our cells text label, right? Um, like uh, each table view cell comes with a uh, text label property. We wanna set that text equal to our full name, right? So that's pretty simple to do. We're just gonna say um, cell.textlabel.text equals contacts index path dot row dot full name so what this is doing guys is it's getting um it's looking in this context array it's looking at the particular index path we are at say it was index path zero then it's going to grab the the zero uh element out of that array and give us back the full name for each one of our cells that's what's going on there okay so now that we have all that done uh we need to hop into our add contact controller and actually create um, our text view for where we want to input our full name. So we're going to say let text field equal, uh, sorry, colon UI text, damn it, my bad guys. Text field equal this, let TF the UI text field return TF. So this is what it looks like when you create a sub view programmatically. We're going to say TF dot placeholder equals. Um, full name tf.textalignment equals dot center 
and tf that translates auto resizing mass into, into constraints equals false. So this enables enables us to programmatically set our constraints here, guys. So we're gonna go down here back to our view to load method and say view dot add subview uh, text field and text field dot center x anchor dot constraint equal to constant view dot center x anchor dot is active equals true. So this is just um, the code we need to write to center our text field, right, on our x and y axes. And then we need to give it a width constraint, right? So we're going to say text field dot width anchor dot constraint equal to constant view dot frame dot width minus 64. So that's going to give us 32 pixels of padding on each side and say dot is active equals true. We'll go, we're going to go down here and say text field dot become first responder so that as soon as we open up that uh, this view controller, it's going to allow us to start automatically editing in that text field, right? So let's go ahead and run this now and see what this looks like. So go here, we see our text field here, we're going to enter in a name. And then when we click done, we want to grab the text from this text field, store it in a value and pass it back to our view controller over here and populate our table view cells with um, the value, the information that we pass back. So uh, if you guys remember before I said we're going to be doing that by using a protocol. So in your add contact controller, go ahead and create a protocol called um, add contact delegate. And it's going to take contain one function called add contact. And we're going to pass in a contact. So now we're going to create our delegate variable. So we're going to say var delegate. Uh, and it's going to be of type add contact delegate. So now we're going to be able to access all the methods associated with this delegate in this view controller. So we want to add our contact when that done button is clicked, right? So we're going to go ahead down here and we're going to say delegate dot add contact. And we need to create this contact to pass in. So we need to just grab that text from our text field. So we're going to say guard let text, uh, sorry, full name equal text field dot text. And we want to make sure it's not empty, right? So say text field dot has text else and uh, we can say print handle error here. And then we're going to say return. Now we need to create our contact using this full name. If you guys remember, it's just uh, it's just going to ask us for one parameter, which is this full name here. And structs come with automatic initializers, um, so we don't have to write an init function. So let's go down here and just say let contact equal contact and pass in that full name. So we have our contact that we need to pass in and we're just gonna do this. So, and let's go ahead and just say print contact.fullName when we press that done button. Then we need to actually write our code for this delegate method. So let's go John Doe, hit done. We'll go up here Oops, wrong one, my bad guys. Um, and we get John Doe back, right? So that's exactly what we want. Now, um, and you notice that's uh, through us accessing the full name attribute of that contact we created. So we successfully created that contact. Now we need to implement this delegate method and we're gonna be done, right? So go back here and th in this original view controller or the presenting view controller is where we wanna conform to that protocol or implement that protocol. So we're gonna say extension uh, contacts controller and we're going to conform to that add contact delegate and it's going to ask us to implement that function called add contact and this is where we write the code for what we want to do so we want to append that contact to our contact data source and then reload our table view data so it shows up right and we also want to dismiss that view controller right so we're going to say self dot dismiss animated true oops and then hit enter on that completion block and say self.contacts.append contact and self.tableView.reloadData. 
and now um, we need to make sure we set that delegate variable when we present this uh, add contact controller. So we're actually going to need to create a variable for this add contact controller or a constant, just a reference to it. So we're going to say let controller equal add contact controller. Then we're going to say controller.delegate equals self. And we can set the delegate equal to self because this is the view controller that conforms to that protocol. Right? And now instead of presenting, uh, passing in this, uh, the add contact controller this way, we're going to pass in this reference that we made to it. And it's going to uh, allow this property to be set. Right? So now when we um, run our project and we go through this process, it's uh, going to work. So John Doe, hit done. And then you notice it adds upon completion of that controller dismissing. So before we end the video, guys, I actually just want to go over everything that we did. So let's go ahead and hop back into our add contact controller and talk about this protocol and this delegate. So if you guys are still confused as to what's going on, this is uh, sort of the theory behind it. So this add contact controller is the view controller. We're going to be creating some data in and then passing it back to our contacts controller, which is here. So that's where we create this protocol and we add this function because this is the functionality we want to implement. We want to add a contact to our contacts controller, right? And that's why we have this uh, parameter here because we want to add a contact, right? So um, we create this delegate variable and this is essentially a link between our two view controllers. So if you guys remember in our contacts controller, when we initialize that uh, add contact controller, we set the delegate equal to self. So that's essentially creating the link between these two view controllers. And we, when we say self, we're, that's in reference to our contacts controller. And we can say self because this is the view controller that conforms to this protocol. So when that delegate method gets called, it's going to say, OK, um, execute this code. And whatever you give me, um, which in, in this case is this contact, I'm going to be able to use that contact in this view controller here, which is why we're able to append this contact to this data source in our initial view controller, right? So we go here, our delegate is set. And once we create that contact, we call on that method. And then the code in our contacts controller gets executed. And um, the information from this view controller has been successfully passed back to our contacts controller. So that's the theory behind it, guys. I know it's a little confusing. But once you uh, do a couple examples and really wrap your head around it, it makes a lot of sense. Um, and it's really common to see that in applications where you have a user like present some view controllers to them, they fill out some information and they hit done, it goes back to the next, the previous view controller and does something with that information, right? So um, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope my explanation was clear. Um, I know it got a little long, but I want it to be as detailed as possible. This is a very important concept if you want to become a good iOS developer. Um, and if you guys liked it, hit subscribe. Uh, lots more content to come soon. Happy holidays, everyone. Peace out. Have a good one.